it's unmistakable when you look at the COVID numbers in Colorado right now, something is clearly happening. We can't seem to cut down on hospitalizations. Positivity rate has increased. Cases are coming up, although Colorado's COVID cases are much more manageable than cases in other parts of the country. The pandemic is clearly offering some pushback right as we make real progress on vaccinations. Our Steve Steger looks at how a potential fourth wave of cases would be quite different. For the first time since the end of January, Colorado's average positivity rate for COVID-19 topped 5% on Sunday. Public health experts want to see that number stay at or below 5%. There has been a decrease in testing, so you might see a little skewing of that. Infectious disease expert Dr. Michelle Barron with UC Health says it's too early to tell if the fourth wave hitting other parts of the country will impact Colorado. I think we're certainly at risk for entering a fourth wave. I believe we're kind of in a race right now between getting enough people vaccinated, fully vaccinated and protect it, and the rise of the variants that are probably contributing to this increasing spread of uh, infection. Should a wave hit here, it will look quite different than the other spikes we've seen, she says. A lot has changed in a year. We know more about the virus now. And vaccinations are both preventing infection for some and making the virus less dangerous for others. If you just look at our hospitalizations and you compare January even to March, um, much less from the beginning of this, the people that are being hospitalized now tend to be younger. Barron says the duration of people staying in the hospital has also decreased, thanks in part to the fact that we know how to treat COVID better than we did in the early days. She says, should there be another wave of COVID, it could help us better understand how vaccines work. It'll be really interesting at some point to correlate if we do have another wave of this, being able to correlate it between the amount of vaccination that did or did not occur and the, the number of infections and hospitalizations that happened. Now, I also asked Barron what data we should be focusing on. She says in this case, a wave will mostly be reflected in case rate and positivity and that looking at hospitalization won't be as valuable of a tool as it used to be. Vaccines make COVID cases less severe. And of course, there, if there is a spike in hospitalizations, Kyle, it's something we should be awfully serious about. I think that's vital to know what are the metrics that we should be looking at and good perspective to have knowing that the most vulnerable are now protected. Absolutely. And, and that is going to be the story moving forward. The concern is with the variants and that might potentially cause this fourth wave if it does indeed happen here and the questions of whether or not the, the vaccine is as effective on those variants. All right, Steve Steger, who had quite the makeover at his place. It looks <laughs> great, Steve. Thanks. Thank you.